Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Sims 4 speed build for you and when I was building this I honestly just wanted to build something that was super cute and pink. I don't know why but that is what I wanted to do when I was building this and I decided that it would be really cute if it was like for two best friends and they like just moved out of the house and they're like we should live together and so this is this is what this is. And so literally it is pink. There is so much pink, but I think it's so cute. And I tried to balance it with some other colors, especially inside with like some purples and some blues. But I just honestly just wanted this to be really cutesy. Like sometimes I'm just in the mood to do that. So that's what we did. And this will be on the Sims 4 gallery eventually, but as of right now, they're doing that like maintenance thing. And so I can't actually upload it. So once I get the chance, it will be up on the Sims 4 gallery under my ID, Spice and Sprinkles, all one word, all lowercase, and down in the description if you want to see it written out. And as usual, you can of course download this and play with it however you want to. But like, I feel like lately, I say lately, but I guess this build and then I've got another one coming up that I've actually started thinking about like maybe the Sims that would actually live here. So like sometimes I think about the personalities they would have and then sometimes I don't and I just feel like building a particular style if that makes sense. And so like I said, for this one, I was thinking it was like two adorable best friends and they were just like living their best adorable lives like <laughs> in their new really cute home. Don't ask me how like people who just moved out like of their home would be able to afford a home. I don't know. I mean, maybe Maybe they saved up, maybe like their families own this home. I don't know. We're just gonna say they moved in. And I actually do end up making it a little bit bigger. Like I expand it on the back just a bit. When I got into doing the layout inside, I just felt like I don't know, things were a little bit cramped, especially in their bedroom area. But I ended up giving them each their own bedroom and they each have like a like a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is basically where both of them have their own like sink and toilet, but they share like the shower area. So they kind of both have their own space. And I'll talk a little bit more about maybe like what I think they would do or enjoy doing once we actually get inside because I feel like I've been talking about the inside and not the outside while we're actually doing the outside. So like I said, I even put like mushrooms out here. I don't know. I was looking through debug and live edit looking for some like different plants and stuff to put out here and I saw those and I was like, they're pink and they're adorable. So we're using them. Don't ask me why there are giant like mushrooms out in their yard, but I don't know. I just thought they were cute. So we used them. And I feel like I definitely like I was like, eh, realism, like, that's okay. We don't have to really deal with that for this. And like, and I also ended up using so when I do landscaping, I do the like low lying bushes, if that makes sense, if you know what I'm talking about. And these I believe are from Jungle Adventure, either that or Cats and Dogs, I can't remember. But they have like several colors of flowers on them. And I almost never use them. But I really liked the different like colors it brought to the landscaping. So I did use those on here. And I did use like the nifty knitting mailbox here. And we put like a trash can kind of over on the side of the house. And I include one car in the driveway and then I also include a bike as well. Who knows, maybe they share a car, maybe one of them's not home. I don't know. I just thought the like really cute like teal like truck was just adorable <laughs> at this house. But there is room for two cars if you decide you want to add another one. But I just thought it kind of added a cute little touch out front. And you can see I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to do for this floor plan. And they do have like a full living room, kitchen, dining space. And like I say, I ex like I said, I expended it. Ex oh my goodness, I can't. What is happening right now? I expanded it out. I don't know why I couldn't say that just then, but you know, that's fine. So, <laughs> so I'm here just trying to figure out exactly what I wanted. And I was like, maybe they have their own bathrooms. And then I decided to add in the Jack and Jill kind of concept and expand it out. And I do swap out the flooring. I thought maybe I would use the white flooring, but I end up using like a light kind of tan color. And I feel like I don't use the white very often because, or at least I want to, but it's it's a very hard wood color, I think, to use because it's just so bright, if that makes sense. Like, trying to make that work sometimes, I feel like, is a little bit difficult. And I had originally thought about maybe, like, including some cat stuff in here, like maybe they had a cat, but I decided not to. But in my mind, maybe they would have a cat. So if that's stuff that you want to add and you want to play with that in your build, then of course, feel free to do so. But I just didn't include it here. And I honestly, so I did the pink tiles and I was like, this would be really cute. And I did the blue tiles on the wall. And then I was like, how am I going to tie this together? And so I was like, maybe I need to go ahead and pick out some rugs that I feel like may be like in this home to help me think about what kind of colors I would have. And so that's why we brought in a little bit of purple. 
and one of their bedrooms ends up leaning heavily into like blue and yellow and the other one ends up doing a lot of like pink and then like a little bit of yellow as well but also some purple and I know that sounds a little bit crazy but I think it actually does come together in the end and I felt like this was like kind of a little kitchen so I included like a pretend like island here which this won't function as an an island but I think like it just looked really cute and I like the little like pizzazz of color it added to this space and I feel like it also helps separate the kitchen space from the dining space and I do actually put some like storage also in the like foyer area right by the door thinking you know that's where they put their keys change that kind of thing when they come in the door and as usual I include a fruit bowl I basically always do it is like a whole thing on my channel and I feel like I need to mention it because we've had a lot of new subscribers lately which is so amazing so welcome to the channel I just wanted to take a second to say that and I feel like everyone has been leaving such amazing comments lately and so if you've ever left me a comment I so appreciate that because I do love reading through those and I'm so glad that you all are actually enjoying my builds and I don't mean to get sappy like that's not what I'm doing right now we're doing a cute little adorable build but I wanted to take a second to say thank you for all of your support and anyways so the whole reason I even brought that up was so my mom actually streams with me over on Twitch. So if you're interested in watching me over on Twitch, the link is down in the description. But it's a whole thing where it's basically a requirement that I have a fruit bowl in every kitchen. So <laughs> my mom just really likes it. It's so we always have it. It's like a whole thing. So I try my best to actually include a fruit bowl. She actually called me the other day and she was like, I watched your recent video and I feel like, you know, there there wasn't a fruit bowl. Like, are you trying to send me a message? Of course, she's like joking, but I just thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, she looks for it. It's like a thing now. So anyways, I included the fruit bowl in this build. So I wanted to mention it. So mom, it is there, but I just thought it was kind of funny. So I wanted to include that. And so adding in these cute little storage units over here by the front door. And I do actually end up using the werewolf mirror, which I feel like it's a little big, but I just think it's so cute with little crystals and the plant in it. So we do use that over here in the front. I thought about using that pastel pop one, but because of like the bag hanging down, I felt like it took up a lot of space there in the entryway, but I think I actually end up using it in one of their bedrooms a little bit later on. So I did feel like a lot of stuff out of the pastel pop kit, which I guess makes a lot of sense given the colors that I'm using here and like just all the little details I'm including. I just figured like having some shoes by the front door really cute. And honestly, when I was doing this, I felt like the living space was kind of large for a living room for like just the two of them. And what I actually ended up doing was I did like half of it was like the living space and the other half, I actually put like a knitting arts and crafts kind of like desk area, which I thought was really cute. So then I was thinking maybe one of them was into like knitting and things like that and so we actually end up putting some knitting stuff here in the living space as well and originally I tried to use those like purple cabinets but I don't know what was happening they were not like connecting together properly and I think the purple was a little bit too deep so we do actually get rid of those <laughs> but I did try to use them I just like I don't know I didn't feel like it was working super well and that rug that I actually have in the living room I believe and in the kitchen not the kitchen the dining room are the same rug but they're swatches that came with like the infant update so in case you're curious if you've not seen that I believe that is actually base game and so I ended up using a really cute like purple couch in here and I ended up using like the tile like table thing I I've, I don't know if I've really used that much to be honest but I thought it looked really cute in this space and like something that they might actually have and I feel like, again, for people that just, like, moved out on their own, this is, like, a really nice home. I remember, like, when I moved out, it was, like, basically I was just taking whatever I could from people. Like, oh, do you have, like, an extra, like, spatula? Great, I'll take it. Like, <laughs> kind of just, like, whatever. Like, if anybody has any extra stuff, I'll take it. Which I think is kind of funny. Like, this is a very cohesive space. But, you know what? It's a Sims. We can, like, just pretend, like, as much as we want to. Of course, I guess you can, like, consider them just, like, older as well. And, like, maybe, like, this is intentional and they've been, like you know, living together for a while and like collecting all of these items. But like I said, of course you can like, you know, play however you want to with it once it's eventually up on the gallery. So I even like made myself a sticky note to make sure I remember to actually put it on the gallery because I'm really worried that I'm going to forget. <laughs> like I think, what was it? The gallery was down sometime. Was it last week? And I went to go build and I was like, no, I'm just not even going to bother because I'm not going to remember to upload whatever I build. So I'm just going to like not, <laughs> which, you know, that's like, 
I, I, but I figured, you know, I really do need to get a build out. So I did do it. And so hopefully I remember if, you know, the gal, once the gallery is back up again, if I haven't uploaded it, leave me a comment and remind me, but I, I should have it up. And I also, let's see, later this week, I'm hoping to have out a really cute librarian home. And that's actually going to, my plan is for that to be a limited pack build with Realm of Magic. So I'm really excited about that. And it was kind of funny. I ended up like this morning, I had two different builds that I had finished the exterior of. And I was like, I need to actually finish one. Why I didn't just finish one whole build instead of doing the exterior of two different ones. I have no idea. That's just what ended up happening. I think I was just like, I had all these ideas in my head and I was like, oh, I want to start this one. And then I want to start this one. And then I just hadn't finished either of them. Anyways, like I know I'm going on and on about like my process for building, but like really, I feel like I go a little bit back and forth depending on like how I'm feeling. And I guess I felt like last week, maybe I didn't feel quite as inspired. Um, but this week I actually have some really good ideas. And as usual, if you have any ideas that you want to see on the channel, leave those down below and I will put them in my idea notebook so I can get to those, especially when I need an idea. Cause I know you all have like some really adorable ideas. And of course, like what you actually need in your own like save files, you know? Like, I feel like sometimes people are like, there's not enough of this on the gallery or whatever. But I mean, I don't know, like there's a ton of stuff on the gallery though. I mean, I don't even know how many builds are actually up there and how many rooms. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to think about it. There's just so many so so many of them up there and I've completely talked over this <laughs> one of the bedrooms like that I've started making here and I don't know why I saw that like really pretty like striped like green and blue bed and I was like oh I really want to use that and I was like that looks so cute with the strawberry wallpaper and I was like I don't want the whole room to be blue so I decided to take a little bit of that like orangey yellow from the wallpaper and pull that into this room so we've got that really cute like furry chair with the vanity and I ended up using using these like sheer yellow curtains from oh my goodness parenthood I was about to say which one was that friend that was from parenthood and don't worry this does come together it does look good I tried about a billion different combinations but I didn't want just to have those I wanted it to be a combination of two different types of curtains so I think it ends up looking really cute and helps bring in a lot of that yellow there and I ended up putting a chair in the corner as well as an easel because I thought you know maybe this sim also likes to paint I don't know which sim is into like knitting I don't know if it's one or both of them who knows maybe they just do that on the side to make a little extra money because I know you can sell it like on Plopsy I think is what it's called is that what it's called I hope so like <laughs> like I said I don't do a ton of gameplay so I feel like sometimes I forget what things are actually called in the game and then I actually like I know I'm getting ahead of myself the other sim I actually end up putting kind of like a small streamer setup in their room so maybe they are actually a streamer I had thought about putting like the video editing desk thing whatever you want to call it in there but I, I ended up not and I just used the really cute like gamer desk or whatever that came with oh my goodness I think it was high school years and then for this bathroom and I did the bathrooms after I did their bedrooms because I wanted to get a feel for like them as a sim and then that sounds ridiculous but I wanted it to make sense so I brought a little more yellow into this one and I found that really cute decal <laughs> that was like had that yellow in it so I put that in here as well and I figured I don't know why but I feel like this sim maybe had like I don't want to say like messy, but just had more things out in their bathroom. And I guess, you know, I will say there is more clutter, I think, in the other bedroom in terms of like different stuff you might need for the bathroom. They actually have it in their bedroom. So maybe that's why this one just feels like there's more stuff in there. And honestly, I saw a wallpaper that came with a paranormal pack that was like the pink, which I do end up using here. I saw it earlier when I was building and I was like, I kind of want to use that. So that's what kind of started the like mix of colors for that room. And just like with the blue and like the yellow, I didn't want this to be like all pink. So I end up pulling in some purple so I end up changing I believe they changed the rug to the purple and then also put in the purple like tile end tables in here as well so I'm thinking who knows maybe like this roommate got like a set you know they got like the table and the two end tables and like they end up putting that one out in the living room like I just like I like to think about sometimes I like to think about like how maybe the sims actually ended up with this stuff um, and then other times like I said I just kind of build whatever 
And for this room, I ended up putting like a big dresser in here and like a stand up mirror. And I figured who knows, maybe if they do a lot of streaming and stuff like that, like, I mean, I don't know, like I know like before I stream, like I do my makeup and stuff. So like making sure they have like extra mirrors and stuff like that, if that's something that they actually do before they stream. And I don't know why, but I just thought that like, I don't know what would you call that? Like a tapestry thing? I don't know, the mountain landscape, which is really cute in here. And then adding in, I feel like all the gamer stuff that came with high school years, I feel like I haven't used that very much so I just kind of like leaned into it and used a bunch of it and we do end up putting like the headphones over there and on top of the dresser I just put a lot of the like like extra like accessory makeup kind of things that this sim might have um, up on this dresser versus maybe in the bathroom and even in the bathroom I don't I do end up putting like a full length mirror in there as well and because I was a little bit limited in the bathrooms because there was two doors <laughs> <laughs> in each of their like individual bathroom spaces like there wasn't a whole lot of room for me to put stuff on the walls so I figured like a nice like full-length mirror might be a good option for like decorating that space and then I know I'm like talking about like different rooms in weird orders but I don't know I'm, I'm basically talking about it as it's popping into my head and I don't know why I thought it was really cute the little plum bob on the wall I'm thinking like who knows maybe that's like a YouTube plaque of some kind. I don't know. Like maybe they hit 100,000 subs. I don't know. But I just thought it was kind of cute because it's The Sims and maybe that's their equivalent <laughs> is having a plumb bob. I don't know if I've actually ever used that picture ever, but I felt like that was a good explanation as to why I used it. I don't know. And I don't know why I feel like I need an explanation to use it, but that's just like what it felt like in the moment I needed to talk about. And then again, adding just a little more stuff in here and then leaning into that purple that we brought in in that bedroom. And I wanted to bring that in here as well as a little bit of yellow but not quite as bright maybe as the other bedroom and then just adding a little bit of extra clutter in here just to you know add to like just all the stuff that they have in their bedrooms and if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe I would really appreciate it and I hope you have a really sweet day bye everybody